Hello and welcome back to Connor's Top 10, a show where we go through 10 of my interesting topics. Today, we will look at 10 of the greatest mishaps and fails of live concerts and performances. Whether it's pyrotechnic problems or equipment failure, it sometimes gets a good laugh or it is too serious to get over. Alright, let's get started with our number 10 spot, and that is... So, it happened last year during a New Zealand concert Elton John was performing at. Elton lost his voice midway through his set at Auckland's Mount Smart Stadium on Sunday. At first, the audience thought his microphone wasn't plugged in, so they booed him off the stage. Later, Elton started to cry as he leaned on his piano and shook his head. His bodyguard ended up escorting John off the stage. Earlier in his set, Sir Elton told the sold-out crowd he had been diagnosed with pneumonia, which was the cause of his voice being lost during his concert. He didn't plan to continue the show since then, but thankfully, his voice is back, and he is now able to sing again for his fans. Number 9 on our list is this incident that happened in Ontario of 1992. During a concert with Metallica and Guns N' Roses, it ended abruptly and caused a lot of chaos and riots in the streets. Why were the concert goers so upset? Here is why. As Metallica was getting ready to play the opening of Fade to Black, the pyrotechnics malfunctioned, and it caused James Hetfield's hair to light on fire, forcing Metallica to stop the show and promise a makeup concert. Later, Guns N' Roses were next to perform but for some reason played only three songs before cutting the set short due to vocal problems. This ticked off so many fans that it caused a violent street protest that the police resorted to tear gas. Next is this tragedy that occurred at Belgium's Pucklepop in 2011. While the Smith Westerns were performing, the tornado's strong winds and heavy rain collapsed the stage. Five people lost their lives, and injured 100 more. After that, the festival was closed, and the damage was already done. Water flooded so much pavements and trees fell all over the festival. Maybe the Smith Westerns should have put the show off until the rain stopped. Anyways, here is number 7. On number 7 is this incident that occurred on February 20, 2003 at the Station Nightclub in West Warwick in Rhode Island. Daniel Byershall set off the pyrotechnics during the opening number, the sparks unexpectedly ignited the foam used for soundproofing the ceiling of the club. The flames spread quickly, engulfing the club, and claiming the lives of many of those trying to escape. Great white frontman Jack Russell continues to be haunted by the events that occurred that night. Many of the surviving victims and the families of those killed felt Russell had not done enough to apologize or atone for his part in the tragedy. Here's a concert mishap that happened this time outside of the venue. It happened at Manchester, England. A blast shook the stadium and caused many other fans to flee, including Ariana Grande. Children were among the 22 people killed in a suicide attack. Authorities identified the suicide bomber responsible for the carnage as 22-year-old Salman Abedian warned angry residents against any reprisals. The pop star's fan base is primarily girls and teenagers, so the venue was packed full of families. Some 59 other people were wounded, including some who suffered life-threatening injuries, officials said. Ariana Grande was also shaken by what happened at the time of the incident. It was a good thing she got out in time, or it could have been fatal. When the Rolling Stones headlined a free festival at Altamont on December 6, 1969, it was supposed to be a celebratory wrap-up for their successful U.S. tour. In retrospect, hiring members of the Hells Angels as security was a deadly mistake. Fighting in the crowd led to injuries and one audience member was killed after a scuffle with a member of the motorcycle club. I wouldn't imagine going to that concert if it was gonna be that brutal. And the band should have hired more professional guards. As if the brawls weren't enough, number 4 covers another one that happened during a Woodstock concert in 1999. 
hot temperatures, long lines for expensive water and general poor planning allowed destruction and violence to run rampant. In the end, the event retained very little of the free-spirited peace and love vibes of the original Woodstock Festival. Limp Biscuits set saw fans tearing apart the walls erected to prevent gate crashes and several rapes were reported. The next night, a bonfire was lit during the Red Hot Chili Peppers closing slot. I keep wondering if the Red Hot Chili Peppers were ever gonna get their message. This incident happened before the storm wrecked havoc at the Puckle Pop concert. Seven people died as a result of a weather-induced collapse of the stage prior to Sugarland's scheduled performance on August 13, 2011 at the Indiana State Fair. Sugarland themselves were stunned and heartbroken by the events, calling them tragic and saying that there were no words to describe what had happened. State fairs and other similar events of a temporary nature are currently under intense pressure to put new safety measures in place in the future. On December 3, 1979, 11 people died and 8 people were injured after there was a stampede at Cincinnati's Riverfront Coliseum. 7,000 people were rushing to get seats. There were too few doors and ticket checker to handle them. Thankfully, the Who concert continued as if nothing happened, because the mayor actually feared there would be a riot if it was cancelled. Before we get to number 1, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Here is the last number on our list. During Memorial Day weekend 1977, a fire broke out in a popular nightclub just across the Ohio River from Cincinnati. The Beverly Hills Supper Club was packed at more than capacity. The blaze started in one room where a wedding reception had taken place and quickly spread throughout the sprawling nightclub, into a room that was packed with about 1,000 people for a concert from entertainer John Davidson. Descriptions of the fire are terrifying with no audible fire alarm system giving people a chance to safely get out. In the end, 165 people were killed and hundreds more were injured. Did you enjoy my list? If you did, please leave a like and comment your thoughts in the comments section. Anyways, that's all from Connor's Top 10. See you soon.